Uh, yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's Comfy Neat here. Don't know why I did the uh, signing out gesture, but um, yeah, what's going on, Comfy Gang? Today, I want to talk about, um, I guess, all of my issues with my, I guess, quote unquote, character, because I feel like it tied really well into my self-improvement series, where basically, I was going to talk about all my strengths and weaknesses as a person but I, I realized that this um i guess i guess part of the channel where i rant about life and complain about shit is really more of like a i guess maybe like a self-analysis in a way of like all my different problems as a person and yeah the ones that i'm going to focus on today are about my character and i don't know Character can probably be interchanged or easily mis mistaken for things like mental illness and stuff like that and like environment and stuff. And it's really hard to tell where one ends and the other begins, but I'm just gonna talk about character because I feel like it's just like another way of looking at things, sort of like a, like a more like casual or like a more casual perspective or it's like a perspective that like most people can understand right and um yeah anyways i hope that made sense but yeah so i'm gonna list off various things that i find wrong with my character and um i'd say one big thing that's wrong with my quote-unquote character is that i have really low um tolerance of discomfort and um yeah this can manifest in multiple ways um but i think the biggest manifestation of this would probably be my like social anxiety because i feel like everybody to a certain extent experiences some sort of like apprehension some sort of not anxiety per se, but some sort of like angst, some sort of like worry when meeting a new person, because I guess, because a new person kind of represents the unknown for, I guess the individual feeling the anxiety. And um, I guess because of that, most people will feel some sort of nervousness, but I guess with me, it's like either, either the anxiety is so terrible that it makes it impossible for anyone to um i guess deal with it even normal people like maybe if a normal person was to somehow inhabit my body and feel the anxiety that i feel maybe they just completely you know break down maybe they'd even do worse than i am but the other possibility is that well maybe i just have really low pain tolerance low tolerance to discomfort and well i experienced the exact same anxiety that a normal person would feel and instead of um actually dealing with it and trying to remain calm and you know i guess focused on the present moment and um like just you know actually pay attention to the other person i just get stuck in my head and i feel all this shit and um I am not able to uh, do the right thing in the right moment because of my discomfort of, I guess, I guess you could call it pain or discomfort, whatever. What am I even saying? Like, it's so low that I just end up, yeah, not performing properly. And then eventually it gets to the point where I become almost like agoraphobic because I'm avoiding social interactions because I just, I'm not able to tolerate the discomfort of meeting new people and experiencing rejection and stuff like that. Um, I guess, you know, some people would say that I need to grow a pair. I need to man up. I need to, you know, not be such a, a pussy, I guess. I mean, maybe that's kind of sexist, but whatever. Um, I guess colloquially speaking, but Anyways, um, yeah, there's that. And um, aside from my low uh, tolerance of discomfort, um, one thing that ties into that is that, you know, I have always been a, a sort of, um, 
well, I've always been the type of person to, uh, you know, give up really easily. And that's kind of related to what I just previously talked about, where it's like, I guess, are they the same thing? Giving up easily and having a low pain, low tolerance of discomfort? I don't know, but yeah, I am the type of person to never give up. I mean, never follow through on things and just give up easily. And that's another thing. I don't, I have really poor follow through as a person. I don't, um, you know, stick to things that I'm doing. And yeah, it's like all interrelated in a way. So I don't know if there's like one specific broad like thing that I'm referring to that kind of explains all these different things. And I'm not talking about like mental illness, like maybe this can all be explained by like depression or something or some sort of genetic fuck up in my DNA, but there's that. And um, aside from not following through on things, um, another um, big issue that I have is that, um, well, I um, also related, but like, yeah, is that um, I'm really bad at keeping promises. And um, as you guys can probably tell, I, you know, I've said that I'd upload daily, but I ended up not doing it. I end up uploading like right now, like five days after the video I previously recorded. And, you know, I got sidetracked by some family stuff, but I mean, I should have uploaded Monday, but like, I don't know. I just didn't do it because... I don't know, for some reason, I don't feel the same guilt or bad feelings that other normal or I guess functioning people get when they break a promise either to other people or themselves. In this case, it was to you guys, the viewers. Um, and um, yeah, um, in reality, I should, yeah. And it's not just other people that's a problem. It's like the promises that I make to myself that like, you know, it's not like I've been in like lay down and rot mode all my, um, you know, all the time as a neat. Like I've made promises to get out of this situation that I've, you know, improve my life and, um, you know, do all the right things that, that I'd quit video games that I'd, um, you know, quit YouTube, quit watching YouTube unproductively at least, or that I do all these things, but I just somehow, you know, I always break these promises to myself. And it's like, I've broken them so much to the point that where they've always become meaningless. And it's like, um, yeah, so there's that. And tying into that is my tendency to be a, um, you know, my tendency to uh, not tell the truth and I mean, I do tell the truth a lot, uh, like, I guess I am mostly in these videos. There are things that I kind of keep to myself just for like doxing purposes, or maybe because I'm also, I'm still not at that point yet where I can be completely authentically myself, including all the fucked up things about me. Like I do share a lot of fucked up things about me, but there's still some things that I'm just like, afraid to share that I'm afraid that are like irredeemable about myself. Like if I shared these, then I would basically like lose, um, like, I don't know. It's like, they're just so unforgivable, so fucked up that like nobody could ever like see me like as a decent human being. And, you know, kind of looking at it objectively, it's like, there are definitely people who have done way, way worse than me. And like, it's not like I'm some sort of like fucking like serial killer or like I fucking like abuse animals and shit. But even then it's like, I think these things and yes. And then I lie. And it's also like, so that's one aspect of it. And it's also like, I lie to myself and I guess the not keeping promises would also be like a form of lying, I guess, because it's like, a promise is like something that's meant to be fulfilled and by not fulfilling it or by going back on the promises I make to people like I have stories of this that I'll probably get into but yeah um it's like I kind of am lying to myself and when you constantly lie it kind of like distorts your like I'm fucking probably regurgitating some shit I heard from like fucking Jordan 
Peterson like way back in the day when I still like gave a shit about that kind of stuff and um yeah it's like when you lie but it is kind of true though it's like when you lie to yourself constantly it kind of distorts your perception of what is actually real or not and you almost start to believe the lies that's the most fucking generic shit ever but it's like you almost start to like believe like i don't know it's one of those things that it sounds it's been said so many times but it's so profoundly true but it like it's like you almost you 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 lie and then when you go back on those promises so much it's like you become you become the things you're lying about it's like it's like you make excuses and then you internalize those, those excuses and then you um become them um yeah and um tying into that lying stuff is also my tendency to be a people pleaser and these are like all interconnected so it's pretty interesting like like people pleasing has something that's been a huge problem with me i'm often afraid to uh say what's truly on my mind at times and i've tried to be i've trying i've been trying to become better at this and um you know I, I have been improving slightly, um, especially like since, you know, making this channel, it like has sort of lifted a bit of like the burden off my shoulders where I feel like I can kind of be more honest with people. But at the same time, like there's a lot of, but it, there's a lot of stuff that um, it's like, I'm often the type of person who will, um, sacrifice my own sense of feeling good if it means that the other person will feel good and i guess that could be considered like even normal or like just being a good person but sometimes i can take it too far where like i'll do or say things that i clearly don't mean because i think that if i just agree with the other person and um then they'll like me and you know that's a fucked up part is that like oftentimes like it's like i can understand how that can cause like a lot of mistrust in people especially me saying this shit right now because i've talked to a lot of you guys and um i know that because like yeah i can understand why that because i wouldn't want that type of shit like i wouldn't want someone just agreeing with me for the sake of agreeing so like, i can completely understand that and I'm even hesitant to share this shit because like, it's like, oh, it kind of calls into question all the conversations I have, I've had with people. But, um, yeah, um, so there's that. And yeah, it's like, I'm a people pleaser. And I also like, I'll like do things to like, that I don't want if it means that it'll, um, make the other person happy but then it's also like it's kind of like hard to distinguish between when when you're being a people pleaser or when you're just like compromising for the sake of like the i guess relationship with the other person like like i mean relationship in like the broader like sense of the word like friendship or whatever like family relationship even romantic i guess it's the same shit but it's like do you um, compromise for the other? Like, I guess it's always like a give and take. And like, at one, at what point does it stop being, um, I guess, compromising and start being like people pleasing? It's um, hard to say, but I've definitely been a people pleaser all my life. And um, even family members have picked up on this and have, yeah, tried to ask me shit like, what do I really want? And then that's when I say it. So I guess maybe it's good, but it also kind of weirds them out, but um, I'm rambling. Um, and yeah, I think it's just like a defense mechanism or like a social strategy because no one ever taught me what it means to be like real friends or like form actual friendships or build character, whatever the fuck it is. So it's like, I just kind of resorted to people pleasing because it was like the gave the fastest most predictable results but in the long term it seems to be really detrimental because 
it calls into question your sincerity as a person because it really is like tying it all like the lying and like breaking promises and shit and like yeah and um it also i'm not gonna say i'm a passive aggressive person because i think my people pleasing kind of makes it or my lack of courage makes it so that i don't actually do anything aggressive but it's more like i do have a lot of like bottled up frustration sometimes you know sometimes at other people and it's like but also at myself for not doing anything about it and um it's like why it things would have been so much easier if i had just said the thing or done the thing right then and there like brought up just had that little bit of conflict in the moment to uh get it over with and get it resolved with but instead i keep it bottled up because you know i'm a people pleaser and yeah so there's that and um lying to myself i guess uh, i guess i'm not maybe too in touch with my emotions maybe i am really just crip i'm just completely and utterly depressed and suicidal but somehow i've lied myself out of that so maybe that's a good thing but maybe it isn't because you know it doesn't actually allow me to face all the shittiness that i'm feeling on the inside and actually like get it fixed or you know maybe i am doing the right thing because maybe it is good that i'm not suicidal and depressed and all that stuff because i really don't feel that bad or maybe it really has nothing to do with like any choice of mine maybe it's just i don't know like mental illness and like being maybe very slightly bipolar i don't know um and yeah what else what else what else i i don't know i had some other things it's like i'm coming up with this stuff on the fly so sometimes i'll have like a queue of different ideas at the back of my head and then i'll get really deep into one and i'll just i'll just forget the other thing that was at the back of my head which just leads to awkward you know filler shit like this like sorry for the low quality like filler content but um that's some like shitty like filler anime but yeah i can't really i really have no idea what i was gonna say just now but um what else what else let me just check the time real quick well it's 17 minutes so i think i'm probably gonna cut the video here Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and um, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoyed this. And this is Company signing out.